and welcome to, I think this is video eight of the series, Good Cut, Bad Cut. Hope you're all doing well and having a good summer so far. Film editing to me is a kind of elusive, mysterious process. I like to look at different films that I've enjoyed and to examine those moments where the editing kind of really stands out and really makes the, the picture as a whole something special or look at those different moments where um, the editor just makes a, a decision that I can't really understand. I've been on a recent science fiction film kick. I looked at the films Interstellar as well as my most recent video was on AI, artificial intelligence. So those and other videos are available uh, currently on my YouTube channel. I'm going to be looking at another science fiction movie called Sunshine. This is the DVD right here. It's pretty appropriate with the title Sunshine. You can see a giant blazing sun in the background. This film is from 2007. Uh, director Danny Boyle, well-known director with a lot of kind of international hits, uh, including 28 Days Later, Slumdog Millionaire, Train Spotting. Train Spotting 2, Judgment Day. He's made a number of films that I've enjoyed. A lot of his films are very kind of hard hitting, they're very visceral, and you know the editing definitely conveys that, particularly in a film like, like Sunshine. The film's premise is incredibly to the point. Basically, our sun is dying, and they have to send a team of astronauts to the sun with a huge, gigantic, nuclear bomb to reignite it. So think of, you know, like Armageddon, but a lot smarter. Chris Gill was the editor on Sunshine, and they've actually, him and Danny Boyle have worked on a number of films together, I think including 28 Days Later and Millions. And I'm not too familiar with Chris Gill. I haven't seen, actually I was looking over his uh, IMDb page and he has like almost 100 credits as of now uh, just for editing, and the only thing I I may have seen actually from start to finish uh, of all of his projects was 28 Days Later, which I also like. So he certainly is, from the limited amount of, of work that I've seen of his, he's a, definitely a talented editor and I think he brings a lot of uh, terrific just skill and, and nuance to a unique science fiction film like Sunshine is. Sunshine to me is, is one of those, for me, top um, all-time uh, science fiction films and I really enjoy it. I probably watch it at least once a year and there's there's things about it that I don't understand, and that's possibly due to the editing, so we'll get to that in a little bit, um, as well as just things that I find incredible, and I, I think the, the moments that make those special in this film are because of, of Chris Gill's editing. Okay, so let's get the bad cut out of the way first. There is a scene that, no matter how many times I watch this film, uh, there's a series of shots that just befuddle me. There's a character that is describing how, basically, he intercepted a kind of long-lost signal from the first uh, kind of mission that went to the sun, which ultimately failed. There's different shots of some sort of, I guess, vessel that's going past, I think, Mercury. The size of the object that we're looking at, it doesn't seem to be the ship that they're on currently, all these characters, because we've seen the ship in previous shots and it looks much grander, much, much larger than, than what this is. So I still don't know what what we're looking at if we're looking at um, maybe some satellites. If you ever watched this film and you figure it out, please let me know in the comments. Thank you. So with that out of the way, we can talk about the good cuts of Sunshine, which I really like talking about. And now I'm kind of at the point where when I watch the film, I'm kind of excitedly anticipating uh, when those moments uh, appear. And uh, the first one, which is actually my honorable mention for good cut, takes place pretty much like the first scene of the film, and it's where uh, one of the crew members of this mission is um, in, I guess, I'm trying to remember what they call it, I think it's like their sunroom, uh, which I'm in right now, and he is just admiring admiring the sun. It's quiet, it's peaceful, he's talking to the um, uh, kind of soft-spoken uh, robot voice that controls the ship, um, and interspersed with these shots of them, perspective will suddenly change to outside the ship. It'll just be this kind of cacophony of, of, of noise. I think that's, you know, kind of a cool representation of, um, you know, even though you can't hear anything in, in space, uh, so I've been told, um, you um, are, are getting a sense of just the, the chaotic, I guess, storm 
of insanity that that the sun truly is, especially at their how close they are to the sun at that point um, in their mission. Honorable mention. And then my top pick for, for good cut uh, comes later on in the film. And when I first saw this in theaters, it was such an innovative editing technique for me at the time that just uh, sent chills down my spine. That is when uh, this uh, group of, of astronauts has uh, found the, the ship um, the, the first ship that went out years ago. All these characters are kind of walking around with flashlights. And what the editor does is every time a flashlight beam kind of hits the, you know, the, mm, the uh, camera lens for just a couple of frames, a, there's, a, there's a flash of a photographed image of uh, one of the crew members that was on the, on the failed mission. And they're, they're smiling, they're beaming for the camera. So it's very spectral, it's very ghost-like, it's very haunting. And these flashes aren't accompanied by any sort of, you know, cliche horror technique like, you know, like a, like a jump scare sound or anything like that. It's great. It's terrific. I mean, I, I love when um, a film can, can use editing to, to those unexpected ways and really catch um, audiences off guard. It's, it's a real treat. So that's Sunshine by director Danny Boyle and editor Chris Gill. So good job gents um, that is a, uh, a marvelous piece of filmmaking and it's not a perfect film but the overall effect is is pretty enjoyable so thank you for uh, watching this uh, eighth video of good cut bad cut uh, thanks for supporting this series with your views um, I have more thoughts about the film in the description box below so uh, have a read through of that if you have time and the video that we're going to talk about next time is So buckle up, things are about to get hot. No.